there's so much that can happen in life that will make you lose that excitement, right? It can be kind of easier just to think about, uh, I get no excitement anymore because it's coming to the end of the year and things like that. But when you start to reflect and think about the fact that the year is actually coming to an end and the fact that we're getting an opportunity to have another year, should in itself be something that will be exciting. Should in itself be something that will be exciting in the sense that you want to see the, the things that the new year brings. I'm excited to see how um, whatever shapes in 2024, right? The excitement to see um, the new season, to see the new new things, the new, I don't know if you call them resolutions, because it gets to a point that I don't see the point of making New Year's resolutions, because if you can't stick with those resolutions, what's so the point of making them? So it gets to a point you're kind of certainly asking yourself, what's the new year going to bring? How is it gonna look like? Is it gonna be like 2023? Is it gonna be different? Is it gonna be, um, and it's actually a leap year, right? February is going up to 29th rather than 28th. We'll have a longer year, so to say, we'll have 366 rather than 365 and a quarter days or so to say. And I love it when you get to see your leap year because it's a year that, it's kind of longer month, of course, for February and several rest of February babies. It gives us that opportunity to see a little bit more. And those who were born on 29th of February, you don't get to see your birthday so often. So this is a year that you get an opportunity to celebrate a birthday, so to say. So it's going to be exciting. I don't know. It's something that is just building some level of excitement to the air for me. Um, for this new season and this new year. So I don't know if that resonates with anyone, if that resonates with you. It can be really interesting to hear your thoughts, your plans, what it does, the things that you're putting your mind to do, the things that you are excited about, excited about teaching, of exciting things in itself kind of is a good thing to think about and it's a good thing to be excited about and it's a good thing to look forward to and as we're looking forward to this season as we're looking forward to the exciting things as we're looking forward to the break as we're looking forward to wherever it is i hope that you can be able to build some form of excitement as i said some form of happiness some form of joy some form of looking forward to not in a way that you are apprehensive for the new season but in a way that you're like it's gonna be great it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be good <laughs>